September the 12th, 2021. Guys, you're looking at the uh, newest updates from the National Hurricane Center. We have Tropical Storm Nicholas down in the southern Gulf coming out of the Bay of Campeche. 40 mile per hour winds moving north at 13 miles an hour. Looks like a Texas event according to the model. We're also going to look at the system that's off the Bahamas, 50% chance of development. And uh, it's, they're pointing out that it's southeast of the Carolinas. And uh, they have a reason for that. But notice the cone uh, headed up towards North Carolina there. But here's the current information. As of 7 a.m., this thing's going to be getting closer to the shore of northeastern Mexico tomorrow, 7 p.m., starting to skate the uh, coast of Texas. The blue lines are tropical storm warnings. The yellow lines are tropical storm watches. Notice it's 7 p.m. Monday again, starting to uh, skate the coast. But by 7 a.m. Tuesday morning, it's coming ashore in the central Texas area. It looks like that would be southeast of Houston, around maybe just uh, in the Bay City area, possibly. Remaining of tropical storms that comes ashore. Again, there's your tropical storm warnings out now. That's going to change, guys. That blue line will keep moving up the Texas coast. And uh, this thing will affect um, either more of Texas, parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana who needs it the least. And that white cone is expanded out at the top. You notice the dots in it. That's the four or five day prediction there. Then your three day prediction is in the white area. So we can't take our eyes off of it, Louisiana, yet. Now, here's the local uh, satellite images. If you look through the tops of the storm clouds and look at the surface area, and I'll pull this up where you can get a better look at it, you can see there's a pretty good rotation there telling us that we've had a, um, a lot of energy involved. And you can see how disorganized the showers are right now across the Gulf, but it's indicating a tremendous amount of moisture. That's going to be important, especially for Louisiana. Now, if, again, looking through the top clouds, notice the surface, and you will see that rotation. Out into the central Atlantic, approaching the Bahamas. We talked about this last night. It's been uh, moving in there for a couple of days, but it's now starting to pick up some clouds around it, some storms and rain. And uh, they're talking about possibly a Carolina event on this one for all my friends there, close up uh, in Caribbean satellite. Notice that it is starting to pick up some moisture, and it will continue to do that throughout the day because it's close to Haiti and Puerto Rico and those islands, and they w themselves would generate storms as in the heat of the day, just the way Florida will do. But it has a 50% chance of development. The uh, gradual development of the system is possible, and a tropical depression could form later this week several hundred miles southeast of the Carolinas while it moves northwestward across the western Atlantic. You can see that cone. So again, if it remains that way, you're going to have some type of impact. Possibly a front could come off the uh, U.S. coast and keep it offshore. That would be our best bet, but we got to watch it. You know how these things work. That's what This is what we're looking at right now with that storm. You've got one coming off the coast of Africa, and the one that um, is just north of there in the yellow is down to a 20% chance of development. It was very high. But the one below it that's coming off of Africa, further south, 60% chance of development in the next few days. And I mentioned that. The one just above it that's in the yellow X was a little further north to maintain a westwardly pattern. And as it moves north, it's going to um, be in cooler water. This is an overall look at the U.S. This afternoon, I'm going to do an update on the wildfire situation. But notice again, the storm is taking over the weather along the coastal sections or the Gulf coastal sections of the U.S., clearing that smoke back out. It's a blessing, but it is concentrating it somewhat uh, north of us because you've got it still trying to push south, and um, Nicholas is pushing it back north. The skies outside here in central Mississippi are blue again, unlike uh, in the video that I mentioned yesterday that um, the skies were yellow, and uh, you could it was you could taste and smell the smoke. But anyway, guys, I wanted to get in here, let you know what Nicholas is doing, and we'll watch for the updates. There are uh, they are flying the Hurricane Hunter out if they haven't already done it. It was scheduled for this morning. It may have already. Um, the information may have already come in. We'll check the updates, guys. You watch it.
we're watching it. It's a heads up. Be safe.